Now, in this alternate timeline, when Purple Guy was defeated, all the souls were trapped in the original timeline, but in this timeline, they'll be able to leave because they found peace. However, as they left, they would go to another dimension. They would go into the afterlife, and this afterlife was the has-been one. As they would all wake up in their animatronic bodies, but they could eat, they could sleep, and it looked more animalistic. It wasn't robotic like they were before. As Foxy would say, where are we? Chica would say, I don't know. Bonnie would say, I don't know either. As Freddy would say, follow me. As they all followed Freddy, Freddy would walk up to one of the centers and say, do you know where we are? As he turned around, he was a tall gentleman. He spoke weirdly, like he was on some sort of old radio show. As he said, well, gentlemen, you are in hell. It seems like you've done something bad to get you here. Foxy would say, I imagine there'll be more fire and screaming and, well, unpleasantness. This just seems like New York or Detroit. Bonnie would say, isn't that hell already, though? Alistair would say, quite right. Well, anyway, I'll be on my way, Alistair would say as he started to walk off. As Freddy would say, well, what do we do, gang? Foxy would go, well, it seems like we need to find a house. Chica would say, a house? But we were kids when our lives were taken from us. We don't know anything about job and jobs and housing. Gang would stick together, and for a while, they'll be homeless, just scavenging for food and supplies. Even though they had great power because of anger and rage that kept them going and kept their spirits alive on Earth for so long, but they didn't know how to use their power, at least not yet. However, everything would change one day. As they were all walking around, someone would take notice of them. It was Val, as they looked like big, fluffy, cute furries. As then Val would walk up to them, Hello there. Mmm. A little fox, a little bunny, and a little chica. How would you like to live with me? Freddy would say, We actually do need a place to live. Foxy would say, I have a bad feeling about this guy. Chica would say, Yeah. Bonnie would say, Why are you so suspicious of everyone? Suddenly, Val would walk up to him and say, You can live if you sign a contract. Live with me, of course. As Freddy almost signed it, Foxy would grab it and rip it up and say, I don't trust him. As then... Val would leave. As the game kept on traveling, eventually they would go into a small town, a town ran by Rosie. As Rosie sat in the town square, she looked around, smiling, as she saw new people walked in. Foxy would say, I don't trust her. Freddy would say, we don't know how to work. We don't know how to do anything. We need someone to take us in. We hear she's a nice overlord. Bonnie would say, but haven't you heard of her diet? Isn't that not the best? Chica would say, we don't have a chance. Besides, she's a woman just like me. I can use my charm on her. As suddenly, Rosie would walk in and say, hello, ladies and gentlemen. What brings you to our town? Freddie would say, um, we just got here and we're kind of homeless. We're wondering if we can do jobs for you. We can eat your cuisine if we have to, Freddie would say scared. Foxy would just sigh and look down. <laughs> As in, she says, wonderful, wonderful, come in, as Rosie would, she would invite them in to her house. As Rosie would talk about getting them a career, getting them a job, as they would all look at each other, skeptical about this, skeptical about getting a job, skeptical about getting a career. As then they would look at Rosie and say, all right. As Rosie would find a different task for each of them, Foxy would be a good bodyguard. Freddy would be good at, well, building things because, well, his dad was a construction worker before everything else. As they were all sent off, they would all continue the build. They would all continue to have their own jobs. But one day, Rosie would be talking to Foxy and say, Why do you stay with the others? Foxy would say, What do you mean? As Rosie would look at Foxy, Rosie would say, I can tell you don't really get along well with the others, but you still do everything Freddy tells you. Foxy would say, We've been through a lot together. It would be wrong for me to leave him now. Besides, we're like family almost. Rosie would say, are you now? Well, that's interesting. I'll tell you what. I know a place where you can be redeemed. If you want to leave the Fazbear place, the Fazbear family. Foxy would say, I'll think about it as he would walk out. As the days passed, things were going better, but Foxy was slowly starting to grow more distant. However, one day, Foxy would walk back into his home after guarding Rosie. Rosie didn't really need a bodyguard. She was tough, but she loved to train Foxy to see how strong he truly was and just gave her an excuse to give him a job. 
Suddenly, though, he would hear the word surprise as Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy all got up. Foxy would say, what are you doing? It's your birthday. Remember? Well, technically, it's all of our birthdays, but you seem so distant lately. Foxy said, sorry, I didn't think. No, this birthday's for you. You need it, Freddy would say. Chica would say, we even made you a cake. For once, we can eat cake. Foxy would smile as then he started to eat the cake. As Foxy would then smile, he thought about leaving. He thought about getting redeemed, but he wasn't going to do it. He wasn't going to abandon his family here. They've all been through so much, and finally they can be happy. However, as all this was going on, they would begin to walk back to their homes. But as Freddy was going back to his, he would hear footsteps as he looked behind him. Who are you? Val would then walk closer to Freddy and say, I'm your new mm, boss. As in, Freddy would start to scream. He would fly right towards him. Not literally. He would move so fast it looked like he flew. As in, Valentino would only be able to dodge the last second. As he kicked Freddy. As they began the battle, Freddy had more power, but he didn't know what to use it. He wasn't a fighter. He just, well, took people. That's how he won back in the old days. But this wasn't the old days. With Val's more advanced fighting style, he was able to defeat Freddy and drag him back to his lair. As Freddy would wake up, he was tied up and say, What are you going to do? Val would say, I will simply deliver a message. All of you look so perfect. All of you look so cute. With you working for me, there's nothing we can't do. They'll give up themselves. In exchange, you are free. You think they'll make that deal? Of course they will. You're their leader. And their most beloved member. As Val would laugh. Can't wait for all you cuties to work for me. You'll get so much attention. As in, we would cut away. As Foxy and the rest of the animatronics would see notes left by them, Va would want them to meet them in his studio, so that, that way it would be a perfect trap and they couldn't do anything. They would all meet up together. Bonnie would say, what do we do? Chica would say, maybe we should give ourselves up so Freddy can be free. Foxy would say, yeah. As everyone was shocked, they thought Foxy was going to want to fight. But just me. You all should be free. I'll give myself up. As suddenly, Bonnie would hug him and say, No! Foxy would look at Bonnie confused. Bonnie would then say, I care about you. We all do. We're not going to let you fall victim to him. None of us will. We are going to stand and fight. We fight together. We go down together. Chica would say, I agree. We have this. As then, Foxy would just smile and say, You're right. We all can do this. We all can fight back. As then, they would ask how. Foxy then said, I had an idea. As then, Foxy would then smirk and tell them all the idea. As then, we cut to Val. As the door opened, Foxy came in with the rest of the animatronics. Val would say, you agree, right, to be mine? Foxy would say, yes, I do. As the rest walked towards him, Foxy would get onto his knees. As then, Val would walk over to him and grab his shoulders and start to rub them. As then, he hugged him. Oh, my... You're so fluffy. Mm, I think this will be fun. As in, Foxy said, Can I tell you what the best part of being a pirate is? Val would say, Yeah, they always get booty. As then, Val would laugh, but then suddenly, he would fall down as he felt a sharp pain in his butt. As Foxy would stab him with an angelic hook. As he fell down, Foxy would then step on him and quickly use his powers to get rid of him. As the rest of the Easter run after him, they quickly ran out with Freddy, barely able to escape. They look over and say, how'd you make your hook destroy him like that? As in Foxy would say, I made it sure it was made out of angelic material. I know someone. Rosie knows Camilla Carmine, and we got that hooked up. As in Freddy said, you all saved me. I love you guys. As Foxy would say, I love you too. As they would hug. They may have gone down a path of vengeance, gone down a path of hatred, which brought them down here. Their souls were locked in for revenge for so long and led them towards terrible things. But now, they can finally be happy. And now they can finally be a family down in the has-been universe. And that's where we're going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please share with all your friends. If you didn't know, it was this guy who suggested the video idea. Go to Blue Animations. I hope I said that right. Thank you. Thank you so much for suggesting this idea. It was very... I, I've been a long Five Nights at Freddy's fan. But here's the thing. I've stopped watching after the fifth one. After the fifth Five Nights at Freddy's, I just, I just stopped watching them. And I stopped playing them. 
Um, because I've only ever played the first one, the second one, and the fifth one. Those are the only one, or four. No, no, no. Actually, I stopped watching after the sixth one, but I've stopped playing them after the fifth one. Yeah. Sorry, there's just so many Five Nights at Freddy's. But I have seen the movie. The movie was, it was good. It wasn't like, I, I it wasn't as good as it was hyped up to be. Controversial opinion, I know. But anyway, at least that's just my opinion, you know. I've been a Five Nights at Freddy's fan for a long time. And since you can tell, I try to give them all screen time. But obviously, Foxy had the most. So yeah, he is definitely my favorite. He has always been my favorite. Foxy the pirate. I mean, who doesn't like Foxy? You know, there's even a theory that he was the good guy. I mean, that theory's wrong. I, I'm pretty sure he's not a good guy. But yeah, I, they should make a fan game where you're Fox and you gotta, like, save the night guard. That'd be cool. Bring that theory back. Anyway, also, I have saw some comments saying, why don't I make the video 20 minutes or something like that? I have a job, all right? YouTube is not my main career. I have a job. And that's why I have to record everything late, like late at night, because I work and then I go spend time with family. And then and it's just, you know, I, I have a life. <laughs> so it's, that sounds so mean, but yeah. And I have time for like my gaming channel and this channel, but like I couldn't make things 20 minutes because like it takes me like three to four hours to make one video, make one 10 minute video. So now it would take me eight hours. And like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not doing all that. I know some people do, and I, I'm glad people do it, you know? But I just I just don't have the time, and I don't have the energy, and I don't have the effort. And, you know, this, this is this is what I can do. And, you know, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit pessimistic, but it's true. You know, I just don't have the time to make long videos like that. Unless they are not daily videos. Now, I could change it up and not make daily videos, but the problem with that is... Sometimes a video is a miss, and if I upload daily, the next video, I can, like, try to be like, okay, maybe they'll like this more, and if I'm right, it makes up for it, but if I, like, let's say I make it 20 minutes, so for that, I upload every other day, it'll be harder for me to make up for videos that don't get as many views. Now, it would be longer, so I would get more watch time, but I still need views to bat it. So overall, I still think it's the best strategy to have daily uploads, like the old guys, like the old days, so... That is why I do it, because there's no way I could have daily uploads if there are 20 minutes. Now, I have made movies in the past where I combined all my stories, but, you know, I haven't been making any series videos. And there's a good reason for that. It didn't get as many views, and I've been trying to get, like, at least 1,000 views per video. So, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff on my channel. Anyway, if you support me, thank you so much. And how long have you been subscribed to my channel? Like... I've had different arcs. I've had, like, the started out arc, which is only, like, 10 videos. I doubt I, I any, any of you guys are here, were here for that. Maybe you were. Then I had the long Dragon Ball arc, and now I'm at the has-been arc. And I don't know where this channel's gonna go. Maybe I tried to position into Star Wars, didn't get any views, so I just, you know, it's not gonna go into a Star Wars direction. I don't know, and I don't know enough about Marvel. I know a lot about Overlord, but I don't think I could do... I don't think people would watch those videos, but yeah. I don't know where this video is going to go. I don't know where this channel is going to go. You know, it just kind of happened, and I'm glad it happened. I love all you guys, and I thank you so much for watching me. Anyway, I should probably go to bed. It's kind of late at night. Anyway, peace out. Love you all. Hope you're having a good day.